Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to kind of do a little like story timey video, talk to you guys about my Ipsy Live experience. So I went to Ipsy Live in New York City this past week end weekend <laughs> and I was so so excited to go so I think sometime last year me and Angelica had talked and we were like we should go to a convention she had always kind of hinted that she wanted it to be in New York and I was pretty game for it except New York is definitely more spendy whereas I have a friend out in LA so I could like crash with her and try and save some money you know what I mean but I was excited didn't really have any plans in the cards for it and then my friend got engaged so I knew I had some travel plans in September and I was like there's no way I'm gonna be able to afford a bachelorette party, a wedding, and a convention um, but we hadn't really talked about it and then Angelica ended up visiting the US sometime this summer I think it was June or July I can't remember maybe it was May I can't remember maybe it was May it was probably May and I got to meet her for the first time and you know, she definitely felt like my soul sister, like we're very much the same person. We're both very positive, upbeat personalities. We say what's on our mind. We don't really back down. I don't know, we just we just get along really well, I thought. She hasn't made a video gushing about what a wonderful person I am yet. Hopefully that's coming, Angelica, okay? Anyway, so yeah, we had talked about it, whatever, and it was what it was, and then, uh, what happened after that? Oh, okay, so then she I was at work I think and she like told me she's like hey I got a ticket to Ipsy live for creator day like what do you think? I'm gonna come blah 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 And then I just kind of thought about it put it out of my mind started looking at tickets like very passively Didn't really think I could afford it again, but then I found tickets for like under 400 and I got really excited so I bought my ticket and I was like, oh my god, what am I doing? This is crazy. So I went on Friday and I came back on Monday. So it was like a perfect amount of time to be in New York and everything fell into place. And before I knew it, I was on a flight to New York to see Angelica. Angelica got there a little bit before me. So she had already had a few days and we got to be roomies, which was so fun. So I arrived on Friday afternoon and I had wasn't really sure what we were planning on doing. Um, I didn't know if she had like meetings and appointments or whatever she needed to do. So I was planning on going to Samantha March's meetup with Kelly Gooch, um, Ashley Clady, and then Makeup by Molly. They had kind of announced it that week. And I was like, cool, like I've always wanted to meet Samantha March. You know, she's so sweet and nice. Um, and so I was excited for that. And then I um, knew I was going to Ipsy and then I knew Natasha Denona was gonna be having a meet and greet on Saturday night at Times Square. So I was like, oh, maybe I could do that if I had some spare time. I had a subscriber that I was dying to meet because she's literally the most supportive human on planet Earth. Like, comments on all my videos, talks to me every day, loves Sonal so, so much. So I wanted to meet her and she was like, cool, like, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna go shopping, I'm gonna go see some things, I'm gonna meet some creators, that was great. And then also when we were in the process of planning, we had reached out just to see who else was going. I don't know if I reached out to Amy or Amy reached out to me, but me and Amy were get, got to talking and she said she was gonna come down and I was like, hey, like, come down. She was gonna come down for the day and I was like, hey, why don't you like stay with us? We can go out, you know, have fun, live a little, whatever. So we convinced her to also room with us on Saturday night and Again, keep in mind, she'd never met me or Angelica, so brave girl, for sure. And so I ended up getting to the hotel. Angie was there waiting for me, um, freshened up a little, and then we walked to Bryan Park, and we met Samantha Marge, Ashley Clady, um, Kelly, and then Emily, and then they had subscribers that they were talking to, so it was so fun to meet them and it was so cute. I'll try and put up pictures and I'm such a dork because they are like, like Samantha March is like, she's such a sweetheart. She's so down to earth. I all actually think she's even more like, she comes off like she's so confident. Like when you meet her in person, like really, really cool. She was so friendly. And then they like, we were taking like pictures and I was like, you guys like, I'll take your picture and they're like, no, no, like come be in the picture with us. And I'm like, oh my God, I have like 3000 subscribers and these people all have like, 
way more subscribers than me, but they didn't make me feel like an outsider or a poser at all. They just made me feel like I was part of the crew, which made me feel really good. And I mean, Angelica has always been like totally solid person towards me. Like she's never made me feel like, oh, like I don't have time to talk to you. Like you just have like a small, small YouTube channel. So I think our friendship you know, goes beyond just being YouTube friends. Anyway, so that was really fun to meet them. And then they were all going to go to creator night. And so everyone was hungry and I ended up just going to dinner with them. And then we walked to the line and then they stood in line and it was time for them to go in. And then I just kind of went on a little walk. I didn't really know where the hell I was, but I had my cell phone and I was able to use my Google Maps or maps on my phone on my iPhone and that got me through um, I was a little bit freaked out that my phone was dying. So I was a little bit scared, but I made it work I went to Times Square Some of these places I, I mean like I've been to Times Square before so I kind of like remember like where Sephora was in Times Square where the Forever 21 was in Times Square so check that out then I was like, you know, I didn't want to be out too late. My feet were killing me. I was already tired. I'd been up at 2 a.m. to get to the airport to catch my flight. So I went to a poke place because I really wanted poke because we only have one poke place in Vargo. And I don't know, I kind of had a bad experience with it. So I haven't really gone back to the poke place in Vargo. So I got my poke. Then I found a bubble tea place, got my bubble tea, and then I was like, you know what? It's getting to be like 8 o'clock now. I'm going to make my way to the hotel, just relax, which was great. So I just like hung out, started watching the Shane Dawson video, watched James Charles's video, like really, really chill time. Angelica came home. We were going to go meet up with the other girls again, but I think everyone was just really, really tired. So that was the end of day one. And then the start of day two was us meeting up with Amy. So we went and met up with her. It was so fun. You guys are going to see all of this because Angelica was vlogging. Um, so I think she got like a lot of really good like video from our day. So we did our makeup. We went and met up with Amy, came back to the hotel, changed into our Ipsy outfits. And then we went to Ipsy. It wasn't crazy or anything. Like I feel like we got there at the right time. The line wasn't too long. It was a smaller space than what I had imagined and I've never been to a makeup convention but I've been to conventions because I go to one every year for work and it's like an industry convention so it's huge, it's in Vegas. It's like floors upon floors of my industry that I'm in so I was like, oh it's kind of small. I didn't really recognize a lot of the brands so like Ipsy Live in general, like if I were to review it for you guys, I wouldn't say it was like the best money I've ever spent because a lot of the brands, I didn't even really know who they were and that's fine because like I don't need to know every makeup brand nor do I need to buy every makeup brand but it's definitely not the type of makeup convention you see in other people's like Instagram stories or YouTube videos so I thought this was very like small and it is what it is it was more for you know us to have like a meeting point because we all got together in new york because we all were going to this event so it served its purpose as that but if i was like in new york just to go to ipsy to shop i would have been pretty disappointed like some of the brands that were there were like the bigger brands or the brands i knew was the bomb youth of the people ofra morphe was there and Sol de Janeiro. Like those were the brands I knew. None of those things I wanted anything from really. So yeah, I mean some of the boots had really long lines but it wasn't really something I was interested in. Um, also right when we got there, Angelica met subscribers. Um, Amy met some subscribers and I got to meet Teresa is dead and her mom. So fun to meet Teresa in person. I actually, my subscriber has met her in person and she said, yeah, Teresa's like, such a sweetheart and she totally is and yeah it was so fun to meet her and then we met a few other people and then we just kind of hung around walked around oh yeah a few other people i'm such a dumb dumb we actually got to meet bailey syrian which was really cool angelica had met her the night before at creator night and i just recently started watching bailey syrian she's really cool she does that like makeup uh it's makeup mystery monday or monday makeup mystery like the she does like makeup while she talks about like uh cold cases or like murder cases 
super fun series that she does. I know a lot of other YouTubers have been inspired by her, but I really like her series. I like the way she talks. I like the way she's like well researched and she obviously I'm sure this is all in editing, but she tells the story in like a very, it's like very smooth and you can listen to it. I listened to her Monday episode. I was kind of terrifying. It was about a haunted house. I was a little bit freaked out when I was down here doing my skincare and I'm like, my house isn't haunted, is it? Oh, it was a little freaky, not gonna lie. So anyway, we did that, met Bailey Syrian, got our goodie bags, and then we kind of got a little bit hungry. We were a little bit tired. So we went to lunch, we got pizza, which was good, New York pizza, kind of spicy, kind of yummy. And then we went back to our room, just kind of freshened up. I decided to put pants on because I was like kind of sick of wearing my outfit. And then we decided to just walk around. So we went to Riley Rose and we went to like Sephora, H&M, um, that sort of stuff. And then we went to Times Square because I had mentioned, hey guys, Natasha Denora is going to be in Times Square. Do you think it's worth a shot? And like me, Angelica and Amy are all heavily drinking the Natasha Denona Kool-Aid, I would say. Amy just got the Metropolis. I've been raving about the Metropolis. And to meet Natasha, we had to buy makeup. So I bought the mini nude palette and Amy bought one of her shimmery eye things. And then of course, me and Amy, being the good YouTubers we are, convinced Angelica to get the Metropolis palette. So I'm sure you guys will see those in their like upcoming hauls. But that was really fun. We got to meet Natasha Denona. I'm gonna throw up pictures here so you guys can see some of the pictures of us meeting Natasha. After that, we just kind of walked to this place called Taco Dumbo, which is like a very cute Instagram-y taco place. We got tacos, we hung out, we talked a little, we walked a little, and then we went to, we went back to our hotel because we were gonna change-ish to go to a meetup with Samantha Marge, Jen Loves Reviews, they were all at this like influencer dinner and so we went to wherever it was at and we were just like waiting for the dinner to get done. And after that, so we got to meet Samantha again and Ashley and Kelly and all of them, I think, had left to go back home that day already. So then we got to meet Jen Loves Reviews and Makeup Just For Fun. She's like an Instagram account as well as a YouTube channel. And so, so fun. So, so fun. Amanda is so fun. Like, I can't even explain it. She, feel, she felt like somebody I'd just known, like, my entire life. Um, Amy was freaking out because she got to meet Samantha and Jen. Like, so cool. Again, I'll throw up pictures for you guys so you can see who I'm talking about in case you didn't know. And I'll try and remember to link everyone I mentioned's channels down below, too, in case you guys aren't following these people and you're like, who the hell is Karen talking about? Just go ahead and hit the links in my description box so you can get to their channels. So that was really fun. Sam was pretty tired. Jen was pretty tired. So we talked to them for a little bit and then they headed back. And then we just hung out with Amanda till like almost 3 a.m. in the morning just talking about YouTube. And it's so crazy because it's like all the energy that you're harboring related to makeup, YouTube, the community, mostly just makeup. Like we could talk about makeup releases for hours. Like. That's all me and Angelica and Amy did, is talk about makeup, walk around Sephora talking about makeup. Like, it's so fun. Like, it's so fun. It's like the friends you have in real life, but they're also in love with makeup like you are. So it was amazing. We talked to Amanda. We were so tired. And then we had brunch plans the next day. So we said, peace, Amanda. And then we went to sleep. And then the next day, we had to pack because Angelica was leaving, Amy was leaving, and we were gonna go meet Emily Hanhan, and we actually had other YouTubers that we were supposed to meet up with, but I think things just didn't work out, and that's okay, because that happens. So it was just me, Emily, Amy, and Angelica hanging out at brunch, just talking, and we spent uh, brunch with Emily, and then it was time for, for Angelica to go to the airport which was really sad because I couldn't believe the time had already come um, and gone. Uh, but I, you know, remember the age old saying, all good things must come to an end. And, um, you know, we all 
hugged each other and said goodbye to her and then we went back to Mm, oh, I think we wanted to shop a little bit, so we went back to like Sephora to look around, maybe H&M. Can't really remember. I think it was maybe just Sephora. Then we went back to our hotel and just chit-chatted, um, Emily, Amy, and I, until it was time for Amy to leave. So Amy took the bus back to her home, and then me and Emily chatted, and then Emily had to be on the Half Cousins podcast that evening. So it was time for her to go home and I was just like, oh my God, I can't believe it. Like, because I had one more night in New York by myself. So, you know, I was kind of okay with it in a sense because I felt like I had been on like all weekend long. Not that I didn't enjoy it, but it was just nice to like relax a little bit and like take some time to myself. And I hadn't really talked to Rail at all that weekend because I was so busy. Um, so talked to Rail a bit, went and got some yummy food because you guys know I love to try new things, so I got some Korean food, came back to my room, watched the Half Cousins podcast, oh my gosh, which of you guys don't watch the Half Cousins, I will link their channel below as well, and then I just went to bed, and I woke up, and it was Monday morning, and I was like, okay, time to pack, and then I had plans to meet Sonal, and so I packed, and we got a pretty decent sized goodie bag, at Ipsy Live, but if you went on Creators Night, you got like a big one with all full size on the regular day. It was like all samples, and I hadn't really thought about that in my head, so I only traveled to New York with a carry-on and my purse, and so I was like, oh, do I like pay for an extra bag to like take the stuff home, and then I honestly just fit like whatever I could fit and then Angelica and Amy had both given me makeup so I, I thought that was more important and so I fit whatever I could fit in my stuff and then I just made whatever else I had a bag for my subscriber so I was all packed and I was really chilling and then I got to meet Sonal she came to the hotel I was staying at and then we just walked around New York and what did we do? Uh, we went to Macy's for a second because I wanted to see if I could get something there that didn't end up working out. Then I told her that my friend Megan had recommended Best Bagel and Coffee. So we went to Best Bagel. I got a bagel. Um, I got some coffee and then we just went to her workplace area. Like there's so many places in New York where you can sit and eat outside. So I ate my bagel, we chatted and chatted and chatted, and then she had to go back to work. So I got to say goodbye to her. And then I just like went into Sephora one last time, just cause why not? Cause I don't ever get to go to Sephora here. So went into Sephora one last time, looked around, went into H&M one last time, looked around, went back to my hotel, grabbed my stuff, and it was time to head back. So that was like my whole tale of Ipsy Live. I hope you guys enjoyed me talking about that. But overall, it was a great experience. I was so happy to meet my friends in real life. It was honestly so, so cool. It really, really gave me the inspiration I had lost, or not even lost, but I was looking for. Because like Samantha says, she posted about it on Instagram, as well as talked about it in a video just today. She's like, you know, this job can be pretty isolating and granted YouTube is not my job. It can definitely be isolating because you're kind of like, yeah, you get to talk to people in the comments and stuff, but it's never the same as an in-life interaction. And hearing things from other YouTubers, hearing that they're going through some of the same things I'm going through, getting their advice because some of them have much bigger platforms than I do. Um, you know, Amy was able to tell me like how I can add more ads in my videos like don't freak out guys but honestly like it's it would be so helpful to me to just be able to make a little bit more on my channel just so I can put put it back into my channel and so just getting like those tips and tricks from my friends and just not like being feel like I feel so awkward asking people for help because I always feel like okay these people like are they gonna see me as like oh, I'm trying to, like, get information without, like, you know, putting in the time myself. So it was just so nice to have both of them tell me, like, hey, if you ever need anything, just ask, like, no problem. And so as soon as Amy got home, she sent me, like, videos on how to do um, the monetization stuff, and that was really, really helpful and so, so sweet. So I just 
I just I'm so happy I did it I was so scared because I was like oh my god it's so expensive and like I never have enough money and da 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 but I had so much fun meeting Angelica again meeting Amy it just felt like I'd known them for years and years and years like they were my friends um, and it's just so great now we have an even better relationship than we did before and hopefully we'll get to see each other again soon and if you guys are creators and you know you maybe are looking for your tribe like reach out to youtubers find yourself youtube friends because that's literally half of the fun of being on youtube is your subscribers and then meeting other creators and knowing other creators because we can all help each other that's kind of the main takeaway is that this is not just about one of us having you know fame and success and fortune it's about all of us lifting each other up and having a strong community and sharing our positivity with the world and making somebody that's having a bad day have a good day um, bringing a smile to you guys and like just being relatable real people like that's my main takeaway is like my one subscriber that I sat down with she's just like you're so real and like when you're mad at your husband and you like say it she's like it makes me feel like you're a real person and like that meant so much to me because there's definitely like a vulnerability there when I put myself out there like that or when I show you guys like hey like oh my gosh I smudged my mascara or oh my gosh my dog is being a little brat like <laughs> or here my dog is being really cute like or you know just stuff that's it's not always like a hundred percent perfect like that's my main thing that I want to show you guys is like don't always think that everyone's life is like perfect beautiful wonderful now I'm just rambling so I'm gonna stop but I had a great weekend I had a great great weekend and I hope I get to do this again and again and again and again and meet more creators and subscribers and things like that so let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments and yeah just let me know about you guys I love hearing about what you're doing what you're up to what your story is how was your weekend let me know all of that stuff down in the comments and I will see you in my next one soon thanks for watching guys bye